It's an honor, you know, first and foremost, that's what I think, especially when you, when you consider, you know, them doing it for 10 years and the quality of people that you're doing it with. Honor, you know what I mean, to, to share the stage with all these these legends and people that I grew up listening to and people that I'm super big fans of. And just to be a part of the hip hop culture, I know this is huge. This is my first time being a participant or as a fan, you know what I mean? So I'm just juiced to be here. And it's my second time at Rock the Bells. Um, performing in the Bay Area. I did last year, but I was a little earlier in the day, so this time I got like a bigger amount of people, you know, in the crowd watching me. And it's a dope feeling, you know, seeing the progress from a year ago to today. This is the crowd that I want, the people that do want to listen. And I think Rock the Bells is that platform. It's their 10th year anniversary, and I'm just like, okay, like I'm a part of, you know, this movement. You know, the majority of the people, even the younger artists that are on, you know, Rock the Bells probably strive to have careers like Bone Thugs and Harmony. You know, they might not want the same type of career, but they, they respect E-40. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and Wu-Tang and stuff like that, you want to have that type of legacy. So to be at this space where it's like, I get to see Great and Joey Badass, you know what I'm saying? And people like that, it's great.